The course Introduction to Public Health introduces you to the art and science of public health that aims to protect and improve health of people in a community, in a country, and globally. While you start in a place next to your home, you have joined the effort of public health professionals who think and act beyond the boundaries of their own town or a country. We are there to affect lives of people globally as we aim to make them healthier, live longer and contribute to global development. Public health professionals worldwide know the language of each other very well. When the Ebola outbreak hit the African continent, they were united to be there and help to fight, contain the disease and save it from spreading to more communities, countries and continents. More than a half of the century is gone since epidemiological science discovered the association of tobacco use with lung cancer and other diseases, which gave a foundation for evidence-based decision-making. Yet, we continue to fight tobacco use, aiming to change individual behaviors that kills millions of people annually. During many decades, public health professionals, cooperating with other experts and scientists, we're building evidence to inform effective policies and to design national and local public health programs. Therefore, nowadays, we have an opportunity to learn about the most effective and efficient strategies that can save lives of hundreds, thousands of people. Among those significant discoveries are vaccination programs, system to control infectious diseases, family planning, safer and healthier food, and many, many others. Despite the progress of science and technology and visible results achieved with better health outcomes, there is a lot of work ahead of public health professionals in individual countries like Ukraine to contribute to promoting people's health and preventing diseases globally. So here are some of the big challenges that we shall continue to fight together. Despite 20% reduction in new cases of HIV since 2001, Near 38 million people are living with HIV worldwide and 1.7 million new cases of HIV are diagnosed annually. Every hour, 30 people are diagnosed with tuberculosis in the European region and TB is the leading infectious disease killer in the world, causing over 4,000 deaths daily. Healthcare-associated infections are a scare for best hospitals in Europe seriously debilitating around 2.5 million Europeans every year and killing 90,000. Antimicrobial resistance. Antibiotics were once a human saver, and now the resistance to antimicrobial drugs is a human-made bomb, which, if not fought now, can become the new biggest challenge for the humanity. Multidrug resistance tuberculosis remains a public health crisis and a health security threat. About one in five cases of MDR-TB around the world go untreated. Traffic accidents. 1.35 million people are dying each year in the world's roads, while following a simple habit to wear a seatbelt can reduce the risk of death among drivers and front seat occupants by close to 50%. Obesity. Worldwide, nearly 2 billion adults 18 years and older are overweight or obese. Lifestyle behavior, consumerism, and other factors contribute to this most important public health problem that is challenging to fight and requires a comprehensive effort. Tobacco use. Worldwide, more than 7 million deaths per year are caused by tobacco use. Decades-long fight is not over and should be continued to, to combat one of the most deadly human killers. Emerging infections and pandemic threats we must continue to monitor them, improve readiness and response preparedness. Preventing diseases through immunization, raising awareness, constant monitoring and regular promotion is essential to make sure that poor knowledge and ignorance do not diminish impact of this huge public health intervention. Health inequalities, 
understanding how social factors and inequalities affect health is important. They are a huge risk factor and public health efforts should be targeted at those who need them the most. Environmental threats. We recognize environmental determinants and must join global efforts to affect these risk factors. The list is longer and the tasks are far more complex. You all know after this course that your work is not limited to healthcare and it is far beyond medical boundaries. Our partners are not only doctors and nurses, but managers, entrepreneurs, government officials and politicians, as well as patients, religious leaders, educators, teachers, parents and many others in communities with whom we should be able to work and include in our public health interventions. The course has provided you with the knowledge and skills to be able to perform these complex tasks. At least, it sets you for a good start in your knowledge journey to become a public health professional or a leader who fights for important goals in life for people in your neighborhood, in the whole Ukraine, or in the most remote parts of the world. Good luck with this journey.